Day 10 after Ontario Perni, the oak silk moss uh, hatched from the eggs. Let's have a look what they did last time. We've seen that they just went to small L2 caterpillars, but now I think they have grown really nice. Let's see what they do, where they are, and how many that they are here left in this box. What I can say now is that they are really big compared to when they came out of their little um, of their little L1 caterpillars. Now yeah, let's see how they are now. They are now doubled in, in size and already this one, this L2 stage on the penny, I think he will go soon towards L3. And also the other ones that I find here, here is one, underneath here is one. Yeah, they are all together here and all kind of the same stage and same size. Here's another one. He's holding these two leaves together, you see. <laughs> one with the with the two things on the back. So now let's see, now we have three now already. And you see here in the in this uh, little dish there are a lot of fresh pellets already. We will see how many here's the force number four is here. So here we didn't lose any of these caterpillars are all together now but what we have to do is I think I change uh, here this sheet of paper put in a new one I have to put out the light because otherwise it's getting too hot for them under the light and they can burn the sunburn yeah, so I put some new water on a fresh sheet of paper and then what I've also seen that I probably have to change my my oak plant here because they seem to not be so fresh anymore as when I started to take the leaf from them but let's see what we can do just to prepare a little bit the bottom of this okay, and then we take the the best leaves from the top of the plant like for example this and then of course we take them back all four of them covered like this so they are not afraid to being detected by enemies and if you change the, the food, make it the way that you don't transfer any of the fecal pellets to the next dish with fresh material like this. And then of course I cover it again just to keep up the humidity inside of this Cage. That's not important if it's very wet at your place, but in a, inside a, a room normally the humidity is under 60 degrees, so that would be nice to give them an extra portion of humidity by covering it with a plastic sheet like this. So let's see here, only quickly what we can find. Here it looks very eaten up, this leaf here. It's now kind of another technique of eating this stuff. You see it here. On the bottom you see the, the caterpillar here. And then you see that the, they eat up the leaf completely. Also this kind of uh, structures here, they are eaten up. While before in the L1 stage they didn't, they, they ate out some holes even from the middle of the uh, leaves. That is, and here's one, this is the other one, <laughs> one here, this one, and another one over there. 
Yes, they are happily eating here their food. Let's see what we find. But here I see a dead one. And let's see wh why it could be. It seems here, if we look at it, it seems too wet. The leaf here has some small drops of water on it. And also here on that fecal pellet, you see there's a drop of water around it. That's not a good surrounding. That's too wet here. And the dead larva is a caterpillar is sitting here on this side. That's, you see, it looks quite different. It's completely white now. So here, the, so this I think is dead and I don't have a, an idea how it could survive in this situation. So we have, we have lost one and we have three and four. So now we only have seven and I think one I have in another uh, cage in a kind of a cup. So we have eight and we lost uh, this one. Yes, if you if you check it here, this is pretty wet. And you also see there are not as many food pellets as in this cage. So you see the difference also in the eating habits of this caterpillar. So of course what we do, we make the same. We change the bottom sheet put a little less water in it not as much as last time and then some fresh leaves on the bottom and the old ones on the top here so that they are covered a little bit, not exposed directly to the light and also this cage will be covered with the plastic sheet. So next check is in around four days and then in the next two days I of course have to go to the forest to see that I find some new and fresher leaves. But as you see now, ten days ago I took them, I put them in, in this bottle with water, that is enough for at least a week to keep them fresh so they can eat from this oak leaves. And they only eat oak leaves, so please don't give them some other stuff. Thanks for watching.